For days, East Palestine was filled with first responders from across Northeast Ohio, including the Kent Fire Department. On the third day, they needed help from outside of their county, so that's when the state EMA was activated so that we would respond out there. A total of 17 first responders from Kent and Portage County were on the scene for about 12 hours on Monday. At one point, Peeps was so close to the train, he could touch it. There was no heat. Uh, just lots of uh, smoke and, and different things, but luckily that was blowing away from us. He was part of the team that made the decision to create the controlled explosion. That team included the EPA, Governor DeWine, and a group from Texas that specializes in situations like this. A lot of decision makers were, were in the room trying to come up with the best plan. They decided on this as the best plan. They put a little bit of explosive on top and a little bit of explosive on the bottom of each car. They detonated the bottom and then the top. It drained out the fire from the explosion lit it on fire and then it burned. With the derailment last week and the mill fire in December, Peeps has seen a lot recently. Those would probably be two career uh, incidents that, that you would think as a as something that you'd only see once, and that's two of them here in the last three months. This was the fifth derailment he's responded to in his 25-year career, and even with the harmful chemicals on board, he wasn't concerned for his health. We approached the scene from a safe direction, and we did things that, that you're supposed to do. Overall, he said this was a good experience for his team. I think uh, they they thought it was a, a good experience and getting to interact with people from all over the state.